Well, when I first heard about the grant, I was absolutely happy and excited. So when I got it, I was almost jumping to the ceiling. In universities all over the world, researchers are working hard to find new knowledge. What can we discover about microbiology that can help solve today's global issues around health, food, energy and the environment? So I still believe that my research had a little contribution in this whole big adventure and probably uh, <clears throat> something good will come out. I feel uh, a little bit proud when I see in the articles and the issues I've been involved with coming online. Um, I know how much hard work it's been to get to the publications to that stage. My job is then to make sure that in fences research we select for quality so we really have top research, really good quality. If you find a journal important, I think you have to realize that there's two sides to the coin. You're not only publishing, but my papers also go to reviewers. That means that other people are reviewing my papers and I should be reviewing them. And that's how you, how you keep uh, the system in balance. We, together with our editors, make sure our FEMS journals cover all the latest developments in microbiology. For instance, by producing special issues on what topic. Probably the most challenging part is just making, keeping, keeping on top of everything, keeping on the plate, spending on time, just keeping an overview and keeping everything very organised. Oxford University Press is a department of the University of Oxford and as such is part of an academic institution. So, in pursuing its mission of excellence in scholarship and education, it is doing so simultaneously as a publisher and as a part of the academy. That's science, right? Otherwise I shouldn't be in this business if, uh, if it's not about new knowledge, generating new ideas, sharing ideas, learning from others. That's, that's the process of science itself. <laughs>